And a very good afternoon to you. Now, this story has been doing the rounds today on a number of national newspapers around the world. Although, when I read the variant in The Guardian, I just thought it was just too painful for words. So, The Telegraph just a tad better, and it goes as follows. The nuclear race is on. China is upping the ante dramatically on thorium nuclear energy. Scientists in Shanghai have been told to accelerate plans to build the first fully functioning thorium reactor within 10 years instead of 25 as originally planned. This is definitely a race. China faces fierce competition from overseas and to get there first will not be an easy task, says Professor Li Zong, a leader of the program. He said researchers are working under warlike pressure to deliver. Good for them. They may do the world a big favour. They may even help to close the era of fossil fuel hegemony and with it close the rentier petrol gas regimes that have such trouble adapting to rational modern behaviour. The West risk being left behind, still relying on the old uranium reactor technology that was originally designed for US submarines in the 1950s. Now, it goes on to say other things, this article, and as always, I will link it underneath. But there was more than just aspects of nuclear submarines, of the reason being they used uh, uranium. Uh, weapons, uh, how many weapons can you think of? Uh, nuclear bombs, depleted uranium shells, which have managed to, um, well, lay waste to many areas of the world and made them uninhabitable for essentially billions of years. But that's another subject. What I would anyway also recommend and I will also put the link to, is a documentary done by Mudboard TV. And it's certainly well worth the 30 minutes of your time to watch. And I'll speak to you soon.